Hi folks, and welcome to Cast Cabin's YouTube channel. My name is Dylan, and I'll be your host. In my last video, I told you about how I was dumped and abandoned, but then I was found and taken to an animal shelter that helped me get healthy. Finally, I found my forever home with two wonderful people that let me rescue them. This week, I'm going to tell you about my journey from being adopted to being taught to be a service dog for my dad. When I was still at the animal shelter, my new family came to visit me and played ball and spent time with me. Here we are tossing around a tennis ball in one of the special rooms they have for private visits. I love playing ball and other games like fetch and tug of war and frisbee. I think it's a lot of fun and I can play a lot now that I have a good family. A few days after their visit, I finally went to the doctor. He said it was okay for me to go to my new forever home after he did something called getting fixed. I don't know what fixing is because I just slept right through it, but my new family picked me up afterward and we went to my new forever home. My mom and dad said they were giving me a new name. They called me Dylan. Dad said that name in Irish means faithful and loyal. Boy, that sure sounds like me. I may not be Irish, but dad is, and that's how they picked my new name. We dogs are very loyal to our human families. In the next few weeks, we got to know each other better, and my mom and dad bought me some toys and treats while I got used to my new surroundings. I learned that I really like toys and treats both. After a while, they enrolled me in something called an obedience class. My dad took me to the classes that were taught by the people at Thunderhawk K-9. I think they were good teachers, and they were very nice, so I'll leave a link to them in the description below. There, we learned things like sit and down and stay and heal and all kinds of fun games like that. The classes were in Cookville, Tennessee, about a 25-minute ride from my new home. I guess I was still afraid of being abandoned, though, because when we would go anywhere, I'd get sick in the back seat. It was even worse at my dad's truck than in my mom's car. They think that I was probably dumped from a pickup truck. When I'd get sick, I thought I was in a lot of trouble, but my mom and dad just hugged me and told me it wasn't my fault. Gee, I sure picked some good people to rescue. My dad started watching videos on YouTube to learn how to help me with my car sickness. He learned that you start with short trips and make them longer and longer. They started taking me on really short trips to the mailbox because we live out in the country and we have a really long driveway. After a few weeks of that, we could go a little ways down the road. Then after a while longer, we'd take weekly trips about five minutes away to the local dump. After a few months, I realized I wasn't going to be abandoned because we always came back to my house. I finally stopped getting sick and eventually I was able to go on longer trips to visit new places. Now, I love to ride in the car with mom and dad. We've been to North Carolina to visit some of my new family members in the military, and that was lots of fun. They have a pretty girl dog named Luna, and she's my best dog friend. We've been on other trips, too, but I'll tell you more about that later. When I got pretty good with the games of sit and stay and heal, we would watch YouTube videos about how to do other things like be around distractions, do tricks, and other neat stuff. We watched a lot of videos by a guy named Zach George, he has a really good training style that I like. He uses positive reinforcement and rewards. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description below, too. When I got good enough at the other learning games, my dad said he thought I might be able to learn to be a service dog. That's a dog that's taught to help someone with disabilities like my dad has. We started watching even more videos, and I learned to do things that help him out. A lot of people don't realize how much fun dogs have with these learning games. We love doing things for our human families. It makes us so happy. Now, I'm a trained service dog, and I get to go lots of places with my family. We go shopping and visiting and to the dump and on trips and to the drive-in restaurant to get ice cream. I love ice cream. My life is so wonderful now, I never knew how good it could be. In August, we celebrate two years since I rescued my mom and dad. It's been a lot of work, a lot of fun, and filled with a lot of love and excitement. In a future video, I'm going to show you how you can take your dogs with you to a bunch of places, and how you can find pet-friendly places near where you live. I promise your dogs and your family will thank you if you take them with you more. 
If you like these videos, I hope you'll give them a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you ring the bell after subscribing, you'll be told whenever I post a new one. Gee, I sure do enjoy making these videos for you. If you have any comments, please leave them below. I'll ask my mom or my dad to read them to me so I can answer you. This is Dylan for Cat's Cabin saying bye for now.